Hey, Assalamu alaikum everyone and uh, welcome to today's VChain update for Wednesday, 5th January. And uh, very quickly, if you're not in the Discord, join us in the Discord. Now, there's this guy who was posting a, a new, uh, you know, VChain tweet. And they said, happy to announce that VEUSD, which is going to be a stable coin, uh, they have the first native stable coin, which will soon go live. So basically, is this going to bring a pump to VChain? I think so. I think so. Because that's a big news. This is a big news from VeChain. And by the way, they're having their own stable coin and they're going to be using this stable coin to actually, you know, uh, keep it up just like BUSD, like Binance has. And, you know, ever since Binance started, uh, you know, uh, rolling out BUSD, Binance USD, then they had a nice good surge to the upside as well. And to me, even on the charts, um, big, uh, sorry, VeChain is actually looking good. Okay, double bottom right here, nice beautiful double bottom. And then you had a W just like that on the daily. And I'm gonna tell you, if we start to cross the neckline, then the next target of this double bottom is going to be from the top here to the bottom right there and then that's going to take you nearly nearly 0 0.12 so basically i expect a 12 cents in the next coming few days from v chain out of this double bottom right now and there is a big resistance at the 0 0.098 but anyway let's see if is that news actually going to come out i don't know if they specified a date or not um no they didn't and as a matter of fact, if I actually open up something here, you can see that they said that VeChain Thor's first stablecoin enabling Web3, DeFi and sustainability objectives and more. So that's huge because Web3 is actually the future um, after Metaverse as well. So Web3 is something huge, huge. And I've been talking about Web3 and uh, why Web3 is amazing. You can you can go to the channel and uh, you can see which coin I think are the best ones uh, out of Web3. I do have a video which is called the next big thing after Web uh, after Metaverse. Okay, you can just search that on other coins and you can watch that video as well. Yeah. So for me, guys, I'm, what I'm going to say is don't sell. Don't sell your coin just yet. Not talking about the weekly. The weekly is actually looking very, very good and amazing. And there is a particular factor that, in my opinion, what you see after this drop, this sudden drop, then you had a few weeks that actually turned very, very green out there. So what I'm going to say is um, this one, uh, if, if history repeats itself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the bars pattern right here and I'm going to actually try to replicate these candles. And from there to there, if you start to reverse from here, you might see VeChain actually go up and break out and then go to the 18 cents, backtest the symmetrical triangle. And then from here, it absolutely goes to the upside as well. Now on the daily, I did notice that the RSI is looking amazing. I'm just going to bring in the RSI right here. And look, uh, we are getting a particular cross right now. And the low, like the oversold level of 27 has really set in. Do you see that? really 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 oversold right now we're at the 49 at the moment so expect the next coming weeks to actually go to to the top once again so right now back in history it's like you are in this current position right now and uh you went down and then you had this current position right now then you went down once again so wherever whenever you came to the oversold level you pick business to the upside once again right now you are on the oversold level and now you're looking to pick business to the upside once again so to me there is no downward pressure at the moment bitcoin doesn't have downward pressure at the moment the bitcoin dominance chart is also saying that altcoin season is on the corner right now so now you're even getting the yellow and the violet color here getting across so expect this cross to to actually push VeChain to the upside to this oversold level of 70. So basically, in the next coming few days, we are going to have to pay attention to this RSI. And the moment that you go to the oversold level, maybe by February, it could be by the end of February, it could be in January as well. So when, once you get that oversold level, then in my opinion, what's going to happen if I actually, you know, zoom out of this RSI is here's a potential play, you know, because the apex of this symmetrical triangle is coming to an end by, uh, you know, May or June, something like that. So now you could be putting this double bottom right now. And then from there you go to that 12 cents and then you continue to this, 
you know, 14 cents. From there, hit your head, come down once again to 10, then just continue like this, and then finally, finally break out of there, and then go for the fifth Elliott wave theory, which is pending for the 0 0.72, even $1 in 2022. Now, please watch the Bitcoin video update, because in the Bitcoin video update, I've been talking about when the, the top of Bitcoin can come in, and uh, by the uh, until the top of Bitcoin doesn't come in, you're not going to see the top of VeChain as well because, of course, what Bitcoin does, it controls every single coin out there. So watch that video to get an idea when uh, can we expect the $1 for VeChain as well. And that could take you by the end of the year. And which is not bad to me. I don't mind. I don't mind. If you tell me to, to buy something today and I want to 10x in 12 months and go for like 1,000 or 1,200 percent increase in, in the next 12 months, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. That's just like a hundred percent gain every single month. Do you understand that? So, so, so yes, do the math, do the risk here, do the calculation, invest what you can afford to lose as well. And I'm going to see you with the next one. Allah Hafiz.